So it's a beautiful day in northern Washington, about an hour and a half outside of Seattle. I think it's the Mount Baker, Mount Baker National Forest, I think. And I'm up here to see one thing, something I've never seen in person. Check out this incredible ice cave. Now it's way bigger than it looks, and I'm going to get a lot closer, but I wanted to give you a broader shot of it. So technically it's not really ice, it's uh, snow, which comes from way up there. The snow accumulates and then makes its way, it kind of drops down here. Just give you an idea of how beautiful it is here. You can kind of see all those little waterfalls. Quite the oasis, frozen oasis. Look, you could see up top how it's, that part has fallen down, I guess, or. Now some of you are starting to get concerned yelling at your screens for me not to go in here. I'm not going to, I know it's very, very dangerous. Although it's so cold, I doubt this would be, you know, pieces would be breaking off, but I know people have died here. It's gonna be hard to uh, explain to you or to see on camera just how massive this is. And that opening, you could drive a semi through. I mean, that, that's the width of a highway. You can hear water flowing through there. I don't know what creates this. I guess warm air and um, the wind and probably water flowing through here just slowly carves this out. It's always here all year round. Even in the summertime, there's some version of this. Man, this is freaking awesome. Yeah, I guess it's, well, it's ice now. Yeah, that's true. So I guess it really is kind of an ice cave, but it starts off as snow from up there. Very intimidating. Some of you may have noticed that my pants are completely soaking wet. And that's because normally there is a bridge that takes you out here but that bridge has been out for quite some time so <laughs> even up here freezing cold i was like you know what i gotta cross this it's just a brook i mean it's not that big of a deal so we were just right over there that's the big ice cave and there's a trail that comes around over this kind of little 
hill. And this is normally another ice cave, but it's really not much of it, but it's, it's kind of cool. There's a little arch up there. I'm making my way up to it now. So at some point, this whole thing was an ice cave. And it's all but completely melted, except for just the back part. So this is really what it looks like inside an ice cave uh, without actually being inside an, an actual ice cave. Look at that. It's kind of tempting to walk in there, but even that will kill you if that were to break off right now. So. Not happening. Look how cool that is. <laughs> it goes real deep down in there. Probably where the water slowly flows through and melts that. Oh look, so that archway is definitely starting to, at some point, maybe over the summer, maybe an hour ago, but it's starting to break. Hard to believe because it's freezing cold out today. So this is the other side of that kind of second ice cave and Some beautiful waterfalls. This one really come. I mean, this is probably about a hundred feet or so from up there. Actually, comes through a crack on the rock. Kind of cool. Very pretty. So I climbed up on this hill to show you. What it looks like from up here that's the that's the first one I was at and this is what is left of one kind of looks like it's one from here but very pretty area just a short hike maybe a mile and a half or so maybe just a mile but um, remember what I said about the bridge if you plan on coming out here the bridge it's been closed for a while so I don't know you might be getting wet if you are determined to see this anyway I'm gonna enjoy this for a little bit longer see you in the next video